Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the Final cards are live. We've got the content rolling. There's a lot of cool stuff that's a part of this promo, but it feels like we're stuck in between this is cool and this is an L, or it's really a lot of people are describing Road to the Final as mid because a lot of the players aren't as good as we would have liked them to be. And of course, the content wasn't super great yesterday. But there are some parts of this Road to the Final promo that I think are pretty solid and of course since these are live cards we really are going to watch these prices over the next couple of days specifically this weekend on road to the final cards because i believe some of them will be at their cheapest point in the next couple of days where we would have an opportunity to invest for them to rise as we have the first upgrades coming this upcoming friday on the 24th of february we have got upgrades incoming for those cards that are deserving so we'll take a look at that and of course there's a big flashback SBC that was not dropped yesterday if it drops today that could cause some waves on the market so there's a lot to look out for and the refresh of that 86 plus mixed campaign player picks and happy day we have a lot of market related stuff to talk about today if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up and if you're new around here hit the subscribe button first thing i want to talk about is the overview of this road to the final promo and the way i want to do that is i want to go to ea's web page that they released for Road to the Final and just kind of give you guys an overview, right? We were looking forward to this information on this page. We actually didn't learn a ton from this, if I'm being completely honest. They have a nice little count up thing here for the players and how they are qualifying in terms of their matches and how they get their upgrades and the path that they're on. We were hoping for more information around the Road to the Final rewinds with like flashback SBCs and stuff, but really all EA said was special player items to come, celebrating knockout shocks and comebacks from European Knights at both SBCs and objectives. So I wonder if the um, the Vandebeek that we had yesterday in objectives was a part of that. Now, one of the coolest parts about this promo is the daily Road to the Final SBCs. Now, this does not mean player SBCs because they said themed puzzle SBCs and objectives on a daily basis. And if you see here on the menus, it actually gives you on the news tab a bit of detail about this daily puzzle SBCs that chart Real Madrid's 21-22 road to the final. I mean, if I'm being honest, objectives were the biggest W yesterday in terms of the content because the Vanderbeek card being three-star, three-star, that's not the biggest dub out of all this. It's usable. It's really easy to get. So fair play to EA on that one. But we have this foot 23 road to the final objective where you complete the easy daily SBCs, which hopefully are pretty easy, which give you a pack uh, every single time you do them and then in return you get an 84 plus times five at the end so a little bit more incentive ea likes to do this this year they drop an sbc link it to an objective to try to make you do that sbc even more i bet we're getting another one of those today so watch out today's sbc might be the three for the win right because it seems like it's probably going to go in that objective order right there. Now, the other thing in objectives that is nice is the last 16 cup. And I like how they're integrating new promo cards into this cup. There was an issue with the promo not registering road to the final cards, but I believe that has been fixed. There are some nice packs in here, right? Play 16 and win nine in the uh, LFF or the live foot friendly, I guess they're calling road to the final last 16 cup, which of course to participate in that mode, you do have to have a player from the Road to the Final squad, UEFA, or or Road to the Knockouts player. It can be a Road to the Knockout player as well. Uh, you have to have 16 chemistry. You can play five matches a day. So there's plenty of opportunity to get those rewards and get those packs. So there's even an objective player inside of this, uh, Bryce Mendez, which actually this card is already guaranteed to get an upgrade. And we'll talk about this in the investing portion of today's video. Um, some of these cards that are already released on the game are already guaranteed to get upgrades in the Europa and the Conference League competitions with the way that it's set up. But objectives yesterday were the biggest W, and that's not really saying too much because it's nice, but it's not insane. The Diaby SBC we had yesterday, um, this is just pace. A pacey super sub with potential for upgrades. Leverkusen actually lost their first game. I believe it was to Monaco 3-2. to two. So they have some comeback uh, capabilities, I suppose. Uh, in the second leg, they have to come back if this card's going to get upgraded. Uh, but four-star, three-star is not the best, but it's just the pace, right? Like 90,000 coins for a live card that could potentially upgrade. Uh, it's cheap, but it's kind of mid in the way that I look at it. And then the promo team as well. We're going to go to Footbin and take a look at this team at the moment. Um, I mean, this promo team to me... It, it's just mid, right? It's just okay. There are some really nice cards in here with some really good upgrades, but a lot of us were disappointed yesterday as a lot of these cards didn't feel like they were pushed up to meet the power curve or to just add super usable cards in this game where we're at right now. Three-star, three-star on Barella. We were hoping for an upgrade there. Now, the, the counter thought to this is 
these cards are live, right? They're supposed to get upgrades on their own from their teams progressing in these tournaments. But, I mean, EA could have helped them out a little bit more with some of the stats, with some of the weak foot, skill moves, upgrades, and stuff like that. Um, you know, Martial and Martinelli, that, that's the other thing. You can talk about the stats of these cards, but the price of these cards are all over the place as well. Some cards, I think, are pretty good value, like Atal for 200k with the CDM position change, uh, which is not... Is that normally on his gold card? Yeah, it's not. I don't know why they added CDM to a tall. Probably to add some hype, but that's kind of a cool card. You could run a tall and Taram in the midfield from the Future Stars promo, that Taram card, which I think is adding to the Atal hype at the moment. But this card is one that a lot of people have their eyes on. I feel like he's really fairly priced. But on the other end, you look at like Mar uh, Martial and Martinelli, who are both ex incredibly expensive. These prices don't make as much sense to me. 900K for Martinelli. I know he's got four star, four star. Um, he's high, high work rates. He's got 95 pace. It is a really good looking card. I'm not downplaying that. I just think the price there is pretty crazy. So I think these cards are all on different levels at the moment. Some of them are pretty cheap, but some of them are a bit overpriced for, you know, whatever reason. Maybe it's higher rated, or maybe they're expected to get upgrades, or maybe they're already guaranteed to get an upgrade. But overall, this promo team is just okay. Um, there are some nice t cards in here, though. It's kind of like we're in the middle. And, of course, there's hype always with Road to the Final because these guys are live and they're upgrading. But it doesn't make sense still that some of the prices are where they are. And also, I just feel like EA could have helped us out because the other part of this is EA told us the upgrade uh, time frame, which was already leaked as well, but they confirmed it. We are not going to see the final form for these guys until after team of the season for those clubs that make it to the Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League final. June 12th is the final upgrade. Even May 19th is the second to final upgrade. So we have to wait a while for these guys to get the five-star weak foot, to get the five-star skill upgrades at the end, right? Uh, and, of course, the overall upgrades are exactly as we thought they were going to be. You get plus ones for the first three, then you get a five-star weak foot then a plus one and the five star skill moves for winning the whole competition. So yeah, these cards are just a little bit interesting. We wished EA would have boosted them a little bit more. Now let's turn into the weekend of content. What are we expecting today and talking about investing in these cards? First of all, the mini release potential. There are four cards that will be in the mini release, we believe. Calvin Phillips is one of them right here. He's the Manchester City player. And a lot of people are asking questions like, Nate, where are these guys that are not representing? Where are like, where's an AC Milan player? Um, you know, where is our Manchester City player? It's right there, right? Frankfurt doesn't have a player, Benfica, Brugge. Like, I don't know if every single club is going to be represented by a Road to the Final live card, but hopefully just about all of them are with SBCs and maybe more objective cards coming out later on this week. But this is the mini release either today on Sunday or tomorrow on, or sorry, today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday. Calvin Phillips, Tuta from Frankfurt, uh, Forsberg, and who's the other one? Um, Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson is another card that's going to be coming in the mini release. So that's not too bad there. I think those are pretty nice cards. And, uh, you know, again, hopefully EA can give them some nice boosts uh, and, and get us some better stats there. But, you know, a lot of people just look at this and say, Nate, this is like a fodder promo. It just looks kind of mid. And that's just kind of the feeling right now uh, with all of these cards on this game besides a couple. So that's just kind of how it goes right now. But, again, mini release. With those cards right there, either today or tomorrow, we never know what day it's going to be, usually on Sundays, but you never know. And then let's talk about content uh, today as well, because there's a big flashback SBC that was leaked that um, we think could be dropping today on Saturday, which could shake some things up. Now, today on Saturday as well, we have got a big refresh of that 86 plus campaign or whatever it was, mixed campaign bag player pick. This is refreshing today. Uh, wait, one day, eight hours. Oh, did they change this, bro? One day, eight hours. That should count us down until Sunday. Interesting. This was like, I'm sure this was set for Saturday before, but the fact that it says one day, eight hours, that would count us down uh, to Sunday, which is actually, maybe that's glitched because that's like resetting in the middle of the night. I don't know what's going on with this, but originally this was set to refresh on uh, today at content so be careful with this i don't know what's going on with that but that timer looks to be a bit off sometimes it's glitched in the um the menus of fifa i think this is coming back today though i do believe that's coming back today so watch out for maybe your 85s and your 83s because that was a pretty cheap player pick that a lot of people wanted to do but that should be refreshing today now the other sbc the only other player sbc that we have leaked right now as i'm recording this this could change but a big time left back in the Serie A. this is a fifa 
card. Spinazzola, 95 pace predicted on the flashback. A lot of people remember his winter wild cards from last year, and he also had a um, end of the year shapeshifters card that was insane with five star skills as well. This would be a top two Serie A left back in the game if he is dropped. And of course, we just had the Chris Smalling flashback, so it would be great for Serie A teams to get another left back other than Teo Hernandez. If this is a good value SBC, it's going to have great links. It's going to have a lot of demand for a lot of people to go and do this SBC. So seriously, keep an eye on your Serie A links. People thought, I thought this was SBC was going to be yesterday on Friday. It wasn't. I really believe it's going to be in the next couple of days in this game. Unless we have another leaked SPC that looks like it could drop before this one today. This is the only one that uh, we have right now as I'm recording this video a little bit early uh, on Friday today heading into Saturday. So just watch out for that. I invested even in a couple Fagiolis uh, because I feel like that is a card that maybe goes up a little bit with this. Um, and it, it, again, I'm, I'm really banking on EA Sports dropping a really good value SBC here for Spinazzola because this is one that I think would just have a lot of demand. So watch your Serie A cards. I just think this has really good links anyway, and I bought him for like 37K. So he hasn't moved that much. Hopefully he does. I don't expect him to go that high, but that's a type of card that could move other Serie A Italian cards, maybe some heroes like a Cordoba, maybe a Bremer, Di Natale, Marchisio. Those are all, even Italian icons would be cards to watch with Spinazzola coming. Even some of your to the final cards that are uh, Italian as well, like uh, Barella would be the one I would think of as well that could potentially be a good card to watch with that SPC coming. I think that's going to move the market for sure if it drops today. So watch out for that. And then the last thing for today uh, would, of course, be that daily pack SPC, right? We had the late winner, right? So I would imagine there's going to be another one of these today that coincides with the objective. Now, let's talk about the market. Let's talk about these road to the finals. Because like we said, these prices are all over the place. And as you're looking at these prices right now, they might be a bit different from what you're seeing on the screen. But for the timing of these cards, I think back to the um, World Cup live cards that we had earlier this year. I think back to the Path to Glory cards, especially from Team 2. When this Team 2 dropped, people were not super excited about the content of the game. The game was pretty, not like dead, but it was pretty quiet, right? The World Cup was going on and we all know how the content was then. But these guys absolutely exploded. They exploded on the weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, they were their lowest. Into the middle of the week, they went up big time. And then, of course, we had some pretty big content. Then at the end of the week, uh, I think it was like, uh, yeah, late November there. And then they went up even further, of course, as the upgrades were coming in. But I think this sort of potential on cards this week is there with Road to the Finals. I think that since these are live cards and the content, unless it really starts to pick up, I feel like uh, these cards are going to have a lot of investors, a lot of people wanting to buy them very soon. And that means we have to watch these prices very carefully today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday. Now, Saturdays, we usually look for drop offs in price on these cards. And I think we're going to see that a little bit, but I don't know how massive it's going to be on all of these. Like, let's be honest, a tall for 200K. How low can a card like this go? Because a tall is one of those that is already guaranteed the upgrade. He is already guaranteed the upgrade because the way that it works for Europa League and Conference League, it doesn't show it in here. But the way that it works for those is that if you qualify for the round of 16, you get an upgrade. And guys like Martinelli, Atal, the Mendez card that is in objectives. There's a couple others that are in the mini release as well, I believe. Uh, they have already, uh, they got the buy in the Europa League or in the Conference League. So they've already technically qualified for the round of 16, but other teams haven't yet. So when those other games happen later on this week and they finalize who all is going to be in the round of 16, um, you know, I think those upgrades are going to happen. And also Atal and Martinelli are going to get upgraded too. So for guys like that, uh, there's a little bit of extra, you know, I guess, more people that want to invest in them because it's already guaranteed that he's going to be getting uh, a boost. And I, I think this a tall card. It's going to be one of the most popular cards this entire week to try out, but also for people to invest in. So 220,000 coins. It's a very interesting price for this card. Right now, he's about 220. I bought one at 250 in the first hour, sold him at 280. He's now back down. 92 pace with the CDM position change makes it a very interesting card for sure. And there's a lot of hype. There's also a lot of supply there for these cards. But whether it's this guy like a tall or a Martinelli that you want to watch, or maybe it's like, um, you know, Barella, because, you know, looking ahead to this week, Barella has a quote unquote easier matchup against Porto. Definitely not a pushover game. None of these games are. It's Champions League, right? It's the best of the best. But take a look at some of the matchups for upcoming games this week. 
and look for these guys that have a easier chance to get an upgrade, right? Because for the Champions League cards, they have to win. For every team that on Tuesday or Wednesday of this upcoming week gets a win, that is the first upgrade for the Champions League cards. And for the Europa League and the Conference League cards, it is all about who moves on. On aggregate score, now of course it's easy, right? For the United game um, and Barcelona game, right? With that second leg, it's all about who wins because whoever wins moves on to the next round. So it's easy for those, but just kind of look at those aggregate scores and, and teams that are already ahead in the Europa League cards for those competitions, that matters, right? That probably is playing into their price right now. Also for uh, upgrades down the line, you know, like you think of a, a Lucas Moore at the moment who is down in price, maybe a little bit lower than what he could be because Spurs are losing right now uh, on Agri, right? They're one nil down. So the potential for him to get upgraded is not super duper high. So he looks like this is a really good price, I think, for a 94 paced um, Brazilian winger in the Premier League. Uh, with really good dribbling, a lot of pace, not an insane card, but a live card still. And if there's a comeback that happens, you know, there's a lot of potential on cards like that. We'll look at those maybe later on in a couple of weeks for when those games are. But if you're going to invest in cards this week, again, focus on the ones that have games this week. So if we're looking at the fixtures for the games that are happening on Tuesday, Wednesday, we've got Liverpool, Real Madrid, right? Two expensive cards with Alaba and Firmino. You've got Eintracht Frankfurt and Napoli. So watch for that Eintracht Frankfurt center back to be dropped in the game, but also Napoli for Raspadori. A lot of people are wanting to invest in this card and he's kind of like a cheap beast. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, really good stats. His card was really cheap in the first hour yesterday and he's kind of exploded. Um, and he's also lower rated. So um, a boost on his card would actually do a lot, you would think. Uh, the way that EA would hopefully boost those cards. So, you know, keep that in mind, right? So those are cards that I want to look at. Wednesday, we've got Inter, we've got Porto, right? Bodella for me is one I'm very interested in. Uh, Manchester City, we don't have anybody from them yet in PAX. Leipzig, nobody in PAX yet, but I believe Forsberg and Calvin Phillips aren't coming. So we get to watch these cards very closely over the coming days because I really do believe that we'll see some drop-offs on some cards today, but some of them are probably going to be near their lowest point, and it's all about timing. You heard me say it on the stream. It's all about timing with the investment of these guys because once people start investing, like we saw with the Path to Glory cards earlier on this year, guys, remember when Bruno Guimaraes was like 285,000 coins, and then boom, he went to 370 like literally a couple days later. Like I'm not saying it's going to be this drastic on all these cards, but it could be really drastic if the content is not that amazing on some of these cards. The, the price spikes could be really, really insane really fast. So just kind of try to focus on the ones that have either the most in people, the most people that are going to invest in them. Like I think people are going to invest in a tall like crazy. I understand why you have to be very careful with it. It's about timing for sure. But there's a lot of hype for these cards, too. So usable. Um, and of course, hype when it comes down to the road to the finals. But I think that time for us is going to be between today and and tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night on Sunday will be a good time. It just depends on the content. That's why I think one other aspect of this that I think EA is being very smart with this objective with the daily puzzle SBCs. If they're dropping SBCs every day, that means we have the potential for daily pack supply every single day that could be tradable. Today's was tradable. Yesterday's was tradable. If today's is tradable as well, then that's almost like EA is trying to put a little bit of supply out every single day. That would hurt the rises on Road to the Final cards until we get towards the end of the week for sure. So that's something to keep in mind with the timing of these investments, but they're live cards, right? And live cards have so much hype and so many people want to invest. I think, I mean, I would give you guys the green light. I'm probably going to buy some of these cards at some point this weekend. I'm not going to be following the market super closely, but I'm going to try to find some good prices where I can buy some of these guys, whoever it may be, put them, I'm in a club, in my transfer list, and uh, hopefully make some coins later on down the line. So that's just a lot to say. Watch out for the road to the final cards. And I think we have to invest pretty early before we get to our first upgrade scenario coming at the end of this week. And even for cards that don't get upgraded for a while, like let's say you wanna buy Lucas Mora, let's say you wanna buy uh, Goretzka or Alaba, I still would look at this week as probably a good time to buy them because since they're live cards, you know, they're probably gonna rise up out of packs still as we normally see 
for cards of that nature in this game, right? Alaba yesterday, I flipped, I bought him at 9.25 in the first hour when he was super low. He went all the way back up to 1.1. Now he's coming back down again. So yesterday was a good day to trade with those cards as well. It's just gonna continue into the next couple of days in this game. Now, last thing I wanna talk about is SBC fodder really fast because yesterday with that 89 plus refreshing, we did see fodder rise. 88s, 32,000 coins a piece. 87s at 24K, 86s are about 18,000 coins. If fodder is lower than where it started um, yesterday on Friday, like let's say if 86s are back at like 15, 16K, if 87s are down to 20, if 88s are back to like 30,000 coins flat or maybe even a little bit below that, I would say you could go in on a fodder investment late, uh, like early today on Saturday maybe, or maybe late tonight, Saturday night, depending on where it's at. I would imagine that um, with the 86 plus refreshing today, there's going to be some hype for fodder on the game. And there's still a lot of SBCs that could be coming out. I think EA still has a lot of potential with, again, the upgrade packs and all that good stuff uh, dropping on the game. You know, another icon pack or a hero pack as well. This SBC is expiring on Sunday. So another one of these probably coming out on Sunday. I would absolutely watch the fodder market because there will be opportunities to invest. I think the night times are the best for that. Um, nighttime being like late night UK or early morning UK, anytime in between there. And then whatever that is for you, uh, like it's evening time for me, it's usually a pretty good time to invest in those fodder cards because then you get into the content time and they start going up with the SBC hype. So that's kind of the video for today, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. I'm going to have um, a bit of a different video for tomorrow since I'll be away for a day. Uh, it's just kind of looking at the whole market in general this time of the year and uh, why it's actually an insane time to trade, kind of show you how I did it last year and talk about a lot of stuff. But that's going to be the video for me today. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit with thinking about when to invest in some of these Road to the Final cards. Watch prices, set some alerts on Footbin if you have that, and uh, that'll help you out get some really good deals on these Road to the Final cards and hopefully be making some coins in the next week. So if you enjoyed today's video, again, drop a thumbs up on it. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Account and catch you guys later. Peace out.